Hi everyone, it's Lisa and I'm crafting from my home on behalf of the Paris Bourbon County Library. Uh, today what I'd like to do is to introduce you to something that you probably already have your, at your home, but they are very inexpensive and that's the clothespins and how we're going to turn those into uh, magnetic clothespins, ones that you can actually use as clips on your refrigerator for memos and photos and etc. These are fun to decorate and really before I get started on any of the procedures I'd like to give you uh, a look at some of the essentials uh, and then some of the extras and then we'll get into decorating just a few and discuss discussing those. Um, the first thing I need to have, obviously, are going to be your wooden clothespins. Again, these are very inexpensive. Other things that you're going to need, essential, would be the magnetic strip that goes on the back. There is a kit available for it, this, and it will contain some clothespins as well as the magnetic clips or the magnetic um, sticker that goes on the back. Sorry. And then other things that you're most definitely going to need might include your E6000, specifically if you're going to add any embellishments. Now, with those three things, you can actually make a very uh, cool-looking uh, clothespin clip, a magnetic clip. But if you add uh, paint pens or paint or markers, just your Sharpies, or washi tape. We've discussed washi tape in some of our upcoming, or excuse me, some of the videos that we just saw. Um, I also have stickers. I have sandpaper. I might need to sand these. I have Mod Podge. I have a strip of paper here as well from a book. I have these in case I need to cut the back off of a button. These are my pliers with the cutters on the end. I also have a skewer and I also have a paintbrush. So these are your essentials, specifically if you're going to put something on your clothespin. Uh, otherwise, that's your essential. And then this might be the other things that we're going to be using today. So what I'm going to do is pause for just a moment. I'm going to zoom in so you get a better look at the clothespin that I've already uh, made and how I made those. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and we're going to start with one of the easiest way to decorate your uh, clothespin and that is with washi tape. And I have all kinds of washi tape. Now I'm looking for one that's about a fourth to a half inch wide uh, and I have several to choose from here and you can see I have already done this one I love this one it's just a very natural uh, looking flower it actually blends in a little bit with the wood and then I have this very fun one here and I also mod podged over this one I did not this one you might be able to tell that this one has a gloss finish on it uh, this one does not. I don't know that there uh, would be any difference in the stability of the clothespin. I think it's just whether you wanted that finish on it um, or not. And so let's go ahead and do one while we've got our, um, let's do this one, while we've got our washi tape out. Pardon my fingers, I have been painting and it has not come off yet. That's fun. That is very fun color. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the end and I'm going to take just a little bit of my washi tape there and that way I can line it up exactly because I want it to go right down the center of it. And I'm just simply going to push that down And washi tape tears very easily, so I'm just going to tear or cut. Tear. I know I have a pair of scissors somewhere. And then I'm going to tuck that right down in the center there. And that's all you need to do. Now, again, you can Mod Podge this and give it a little bit of a luster. That is a gloss finish. Let me do one more while I've got this extra one lying here. Uh, I think I'm going to do one in the dark. 
the dark blue. That's a navy blue. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the again, all I'm going to do is find my center. And the clothespins kind of kind of hold it for me. You know, we use um, clothespins at my house for just a little bit of everything, including um, a chip clip. Uh, I do have some of these on my refrigerators that hold uh, my grandbaby's pictures or artwork. But there's a multitude that, of things that you can do with these. And there you go. I like that one as well. Those are so simple to make. And so easy and then at that point all you would need to do is take your adhesive off of your back you can use an additional bit of E6000 especially if you think these are going to be holding heavy items and I would put one at the top and one at the bottom and you're gonna get enough uh, to do several of these let me go ahead and finish this one though I'm going to trim off just that little bit of extra. You can see where I didn't cut it straight. And there we go. Okay, that's our one involving the washi tape. So I'm going to move these and let's look at another one that I did. I had these cute foam um, metal embossed stickers and so I tried to find one that would fit and it just so happens there was one that had an arrow on it and three hearts and so that has turned into the perfect little addition to this one those were a dollar uh, the next one let's talk about this one I simply painted with an acrylic red paint and a blue paint. This one I sanded the corners to roughen it up a little bit and then I put two vintage E6000 I put with E6000 I should say I put two vintage buttons on the end one inside of the other one. This is just really cute there's it's not modern it's not uh, primitive it's just really antique vintage vintage that's my word and then on this one I painted it with the acrylic paint I covered it in Mod Podge you'll notice it does have a little bit more of a shine and found this beautiful old blue button and we've put that at the very top or at the very end I should say now you could put your button on the opposite end I just fear that by pressing on it so much that would pop off and even though I've put those on with E6000 that is likely to happen so you could use any kind of button that you want you can see these are just old ones that I have and any one of those would look really good on the end of your clothespin the next one I did I simply painted it purple I put uh, two coats on here. I took the end of a skewer and dipped it in white paint. I put three circles and then one that was just off to the side there and three more circles. And then in the center I used a black Sharpie to make a little flower. And then I simply Mod Podge the entire thing. You'll notice it's got a little bit of a shine to it, but that protects the artwork on here as well. So this would be wonderful for the kids to get involved, even if they used uh, just the Sharpies on there. Really cute. Now on these, I used the acrylic paint pens. I really like the heart. I'm sorry, these are not acrylic. These are oil-based. So sorry. 
and then we just give that a little bit of a shake and then you use those just as you would a marker only you have I think a brighter image and you can mod podge over this when you finish or you can leave them as they are this one has kind of a exotic look to it I intended for that to be gold but accidentally pulled a light green marker out or paint pen and so that's what we used here and then I'm going to make this one for you to show how easy it is to use the Mod Podge I took a really thin half inch strip of an old book I use uh, books a lot for crafting and because I'm not using a lot I'm going to just be simply brushing this on without putting it on a paper plate or in a bowl or anything Now Mod Podge, you know, acts as a sealant, but it also acts as a type of glue. Now again, I did not bring my scissors, so I'm just going to tear. And then I'm going to open that up. And close that. And down on the end, we'll add a little Mod Podge and close that up. And the final step is another layer of Mod Podge. And we're going to do the sides as well. mowing his lawn now I'm not going to do right in the center there yet because if I do it will stick together so I'm just doing the outside of this I'm giving it a good coat and then once this dries I will open it up and get the inside portion right there but how easy is that and then once this dries just to add an extra accent you could easily put a button on the top of there with the E6000 now I think that's all the ways oh nope I've missed one and that is by stamping. I did have a stamp pad uh, and a stamp that was long and narrow. This one happened to be an arrow again. And I have stamped the arrow onto the clothesline clip. And these could be Mod Podged as well. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and do one of them. And that way I know that that ink is sealed. Remember, this dries clear, so. And uses for these, you know, the practical use obviously is going to be as a magnet on your refrigerator or your filing cabinet or in your craft room or in the garage. But you can also use these on your tabletop. You could use those to actually assist you with things. I've had people uh, use these as bookmarks, page markers. Uh, so whatever you choose to do with them. These are great little fun things for lockers, uh, especially if they have a place that they can, you know, clip these on. 
little messages to friends, etc. So think outside the box on how you could use these, but definitely uh, use these for magnet purposes. I think they're adorable. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this craft. Let me put the ones out that we've done or that I've showed you. And then you can use your own creativity and come up with your own way of turning these uh, clothespins, upcycle, upcycling uh, them into magnets. Let me get my last one on there. And that is our clothespin magnets. I hope you've enjoyed this craft. Whoops, I've got two more over here. And keep crafting.